Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope that your day is going swell, that you're having a beautiful week back after the long holiday weekend, and that your clients are letting you be hmm, creative and maybe a little whimsical with your nail art options. I hope that they're embracing the season, whatever that season looks like in your salon. That's what I hope for you. Anyway, I'm so glad that you are here. Today I'm going to be swatching the beautiful magpie jellies. I remember when these first came out and I saw the artwork for them and I was like, ooh, those look tempting to say the least. I was so excited to receive them and then when we received them, they did not disappoint. They are very vibrant, they are very well pigmented, and they are so, mm, they're just yummy. They're that perfect amount of sheer for layering, and yet they have enough pigment that when you want them to just be like two layers of a jelly, they're like that perfect color. I love the green so much. Like this tone of green is just something I love, 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 love. The red is beautiful. The dark red is like vampy and deep and rich. And then of course the yellow, the orange, the brown, well, those ones are wildly popular because of tortoise nails, tortoise shell nails, tortoise nails, torties however we say that. So these ones are always popular, but I'm gonna go through and swatch them all so that you can see the colors. And then I can even talk you through how you would create something simple like this, where over top you can put snowflakes and things like that. This would be like a wrapping paper design, but I cheated and made it even easier than using foil. Um, I used the Starshine Flakes. So you can use you know whatever makes your heart happy and of course, then there's also using a cat eye, people that's been going around. The original one was based on using a foil, which you could use a red foil, you could use a silver foil. So anyway, there's lots of different options going on here, but I am gonna clear the decks and then we can get to swatching these so you can see the tone of the jellies. All right. All of these products can be purchased at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie USA app. If you do not already have the Magpie USA app, I would suggest that you download it. It just creates such an easy shopping experience. Because you're not waiting on a website to load, the pages are already loaded. It's so much faster. You can just add things to cart, check out. Also the nice thing is, is that the website and the app, they talk to, talk to each other. So you can use the same login on either platform and you can see all of your previous purchases. So the app is just so easy, so good. All right, the first one we are going to swatch is the orange jelly. Gorgeous. You can go to either the Apple Play, Apple Store or the Google Play Store, and that's where you can download the Magpie Beauty USA app. Now I am going to do, usually when I'm doing swatching parties, I tend to only do it in one layer just to speed things up. Um, I am going to do it in two layers so that you can see the tone of color when there are two layers. So I'm gonna let this settle. With jellies, I feel like you have to let the pigment settle just a little bit because we are working with a semi-clear gel. So whenever we brush through, then that makes all of the pigment like spread. So just give it a second. And then we're gonna give this, a, I'm only gonna give it a half cure. All of the Magpie Gel Polishes are a 60 second cure, but since we're on a live and working on plastic swatch sticks, then I am going to only cure for 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds has gone by. And we're gonna go in with that second layer of orange. And it just makes for this very vibrant, true color orange. Not too red, not too yellow. So pretty. All right, moving on to our next color. Like I said, orange is invaluable when you're doing torties. So maybe I'll stick with the torty colors first. Let's go in with the yellow. Some people really love a orange 
orange toned torty, and some people like a yellow uh, toned torty. Wow, that is actually kind of difficult to say. Toned torty, yes. So it would really be up to you and your clients on what tone that you want in the background before you start meddling in with your brown. Uh, the more popular is probably the yellow, but um, in the fall, orange seems to take off because of that. It becomes a little bit more caramely colored when you use an orange background versus that yellow background. All right, so here's our orange. Alia, that's so awesome. She said, hi, Sarah, I heard someone at my door and behold, my Black Friday Magpie order has arrived. Yay, I'm so glad. The team is working so hard to try and get all of the orders out by tomorrow. So if you placed an order on Polish Pinkies or Magpie, please check your emails for a shipping notification. We are trying so hard to get it out so fast. All right, our second layer of yellow. You can see it's a very vibrant yellow, a very bright, pretty, bright, pretty. I'm a little tired, everyone. Bright and pretty yellow. My PP order is coming tomorrow, so excited, yay! I'm so glad, I'm glad you guys got what you wanted. I hope everything that you wanted was in stock. That's so good. All right, next up we're gonna be doing the brown. How many of you do torties in the salon? My clients are not really into torties. So every time that I have to do torties, then Kayla walks me through how to do it. And you definitely, you just have to kind of experiment with the yellow or the orange background because it definitely changes the tone of the torty itself. But if you are into doing to torties, then what you, what else you will need is, I'm gonna grab these really fast. So you would need either the yellow or the brown, I'm sorry, the yellow or the orange, and then the brown. Then you would need a little bit of Black Betty. And you could use either, this is called the Billy Flakes, Billy, like that, or the Gold Leaf. So all of this together is gonna make a beautiful, beautiful torty. Aliyah, you have yet to do one. I have watched so many tutorials and yet when it's come to time, I'm like, how do I do it again? Walk me through. I feel like because it's an abstract kind of design and I'm never good at abstract, you know? So it's definitely one of those, you have to practice it and kind of get the hang of it. I know we have on the YouTube, we have tutorials of like a rainbow torty that Rachel did and a blonde torty. There's all kinds of torties, torty designs. So have a play with that. Uh, you can look up those YouTube videos, go back for those tutorials. All right, next up, a color. This one is the green. I love, love, love this color of green. It's beautiful. This one just reminds me so much of old traditional stained glass colors. In Europe and things like that. Mm, it's just so pretty. Such a pretty tone of green. Here's our brown all cured. I know Nails by Nin also recently did a torty tutorial. I know that on the Magpie main page, there's so many torty tutorials and 
So uh, everybody has kind of a different way of doing them. I think they're simple. Just if you don't have an abstract mind like I don't, it's like, what rule? What do I have to do next? And, and it's like, uh, muddle this and muddle that. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> anyway, this is the green, so pretty. All right, next up, we're gonna do the red. Red is so traditional when it comes to those wrapping paper nails that are popular. A lot of people this year, it seems that we're bringing in the cat eye. So that's where you would take your Felix chrome powder and mix it with a little bit of clear gel. And then you could rub that onto your swatch stick. Here's the green all cured. And then you would make your cat eye and then go in with your second layer of the jelly. I think it is just so fun and whimsical. I love that layered look. All right, next up we have the pink which it's such a cute tone, although I'm a big pink lover. This one is more like a, a darker pink. This is not a neon color. More like a magenta even. Today I was shopping online and I found something that was magenta colored and I was like, ooh, that is so pretty. Had my name all over it. Here's our red all cured. Do you see how the pigment, it just kind of settles itself? Even the orange, when I was first showing you how it's streaky, you just have to give it a couple of seconds and definitely give it that second coat and everything just works itself out. It's one of those trust the process, you know? For those of you who have clients with Hema allergies, all of the Magpie gel colors are Hema free. In fact, about 99% of the Magpie professional products are Hema free, which is so nice. If you ever needed a breakdown of what has Hema, you can just email us and we will tell you the four or five items that have Hema and then you can be um, rest assured that the rest of the line is Hema free. All right, next up we have purple. Here's that pink all cured. See how it's more like a darker magenta rather than that bright neon? Really cute. Now in with our second layer of purple. Just as a friendly reminder, I know I say it often, but the Magpie gels are a 60 second cure. They are 100% gel, so you wanna be sure to use a lamp that can cure products that are 100% gel versus hybrid gel polishes, you need to make sure that you're curing your gels all the way. If you are new to the idea of 100% gel versus hybrid gel polishes, 100% gel just means that it is solvent free. So there is no alcohol or acetones or things like that within the gel itself. Uh, hybrid gel polishes, off the top of my head would be IBD, OPI, Shellac, uh, Easy Flow, True Gel, Luxa, uh, Young Nails. All of those are hybrids, whereas 
Magpie is 100% gel. So it acts different, it cures different, it wears different on the nail. I don't ever have any issues with wrinkling or applying my gel too thick. So there are a lot of positives to using products that are 100% gel. This tone of blue, so, so yummy. I think the blue and the green might be my favorite out of all of the jelly colors. Here's our purple all the way cured. And in with our second layer of the blue. And then our very last jelly color is the dark red. Now, the reason why I'm saving this one to the last is because so far all of the colors that I have swatched are part of the original jelly collection. This particular color was released later in the red carpet collection. So if you bought the jelly collection, it does not include dark red. You would have to purchase that one separately. But the dark red is deep and vampy. It's very pretty. See the tone of it? Very different than, let me show you the red. It's like, mm, it's rich and deep. Beautiful, especially for this time of year. And this year I feel like those deeper dark reds are very popular. It's almost as if it's not sheer. It is sheer. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can kind of see my hand through it. So it definitely is sheer, but it has a lot of pigment in it. It's very, very rich. Here's that blue all cured. Tammy, I checked their SDS sheets, and so I would have to argue that they're not. It is a very pretty red. The jelly is so gorgeous. We'll put on that second layer. And then I'm gonna show you just a quick way to do those wrapping paper nails, just one option. There's lots of options. I've seen lots and lots of different videos going around. Here's our second layer of the jelly, of uh, the dark red. Gorgeous. Okay, I did this one earlier before I came live. And this one, so this is the dark red jelly. And behind it, I put a layer of Berrylicious, which I will show you. I actually wanna do this with a different color, but since I have Berrylicious here, I just wanna show you how beautiful and the reason why I put this color in the background is so that it wouldn't be sheer at all. Because when I'm doing this type of design, I don't want to be able to see through to the nail plate. So I put on a layer of Berrylicious. And then, let me get that curing. Put this over here. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Starshine. Starshine is a mirror reflected, uh, a mirror flake. And so you can see why this is kind of a cheater method where I could have gone in with some foil or I could go in and make a gorgeous cat eye powder and mix that with a gel and put that on and then use my magnet to make a cat eye effect. But this way, especially if your client is running late or if you are running late in the salon, this way is so fast. So just using my applicator brush, I'm gonna pick some star shine up and I'm gonna actually kind of cluster this onto the nail 
And I really want that big piece that I can see. Hopefully I got it. And you can put as much as you want or as little as you want to make your wrapping paper effect in the background. And then my only suggestion would be that when you're using a flake to not breathe because all of this is now floating around and if you breathe while you are applying it, it will go poof into the air. I've done that many times. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna make sure all of this is glued down to that sticky layer and then go in with my layer of dark red jelly. And you can see it creates that same effect, just a cheater way. This is a much faster way. Again, you could cluster it a little bit better than I did. You can really have a go. But um, then on top of this, what you could do is give that a cure, go in with some, some snowflakes or some white effects or even a little bit of like snowy effect and then send them on their way. So it makes for really fast nail art in the salon. Okay, so as a as we're finishing up, I'm just going to go through these colors one more time. So we have the dark red jelly. And then we have the orange jelly. The yellow jelly. And then we have the brown. Then we have the green. Then we have red. And we have pink. Then we have purple. And last but not least, we have blue. So pretty. Okay, we have one message from Alia. Uh, Sarah just got the Artie gels. I'm reading the card for how to tips and tricks. Do they cure with no inhibition layer? Yes, they do cure with no inhibition layer other than white tacky. White tacky does have an inhibition layer, which can be useful, especially when you're wanting to apply pigments and things like that. But the rest of all of the RD gels are tack free. So, all right, everybody, that brings us to the end of this swatching party. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like doing these. I hope that you're liking them so that you can see the colors and hopefully I'm explaining them so that you know what it is that you are getting. Because sometimes when we're looking on a website and things like that, the color isn't true to what we're expecting, right? I remember buying a color one time and expecting it to be a, a pale peach and instead it was a terracotta. So I definitely understand when people are like, this isn't what I was expecting. So that is the point of these swatching parties. So I hope that this is helpful to you, um, being able to see the colors or have me explain them because again, sometimes our phones are not even true to color. So Anyway, I will be back on Sunday with more swatches, and I hope you'll join me then. I'll be here at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you. Bye.